How to get to London for less than $250 by Will Vernon. In our brand spanking new how to section, we tell you, well, how to do stuff. This month, how to get to London on the cheap. If planned correctly and in advance, a trip to one of the most exciting cities in the world doesn't have to cost an arm and a leg. All prices exclude accommodation in London, spending money and travel back to Russia. If your chat is good enough, you won't need these. Route 1. St. Petersburg, Helsinki, Tampere, London Stansted. How? You will need two visas, the standard British visa, which costs $115, and a Finnish visa, which are fairly easy to get hold of and cost $47. Get the overnight tourist bus from St. Petersburg to Helsinki, $15. In Helsinki, make your way to the central train station. The Ryanair bus goes from there to Tampere a few times a day. It costs $10. The flight from Tampere to Stansted costs about $50, but beware. Prices vary greatly depending on what day you go and when you book your flight. At Stansted, avoid sandwiches or coffee, or your budget will double immediately. Total, $236. Extras. If you're mega rich, you can get the train from St. Petersburg to Tampere. $80, with one change on the way, at Tikarula. And you can get the Stansted Express train to central London, $30, saving time and a certain amount of dignity. Route 2. St. Petersburg, Riga, London Stansted. How? On this route, it's a bus to Riga for $27 and a Ryanair flight to Stansted for $50. A visa to the UK costs $115, and you can nab yourself a visa to Latvia for around $47. Beware of the airport at Riga, it's kind of... strange. Total, $239. Extras. If you find that at some point you want to leave Britain and return to Russia, unlikely, then a return flight to Riga with Ryanair costs exactly the same, and your Latvian visa will last 90 days, so why not take some time to explore Latvia? Route 3. St. Petersburg, Tallinn, London Gatwick. How? Although this route is the cheapest, it still involves getting two visas. The regular tourist visa for the UK at $115 and a transit visa to Estonia for $27. Don't you wish you were all part of the European Union? Then, get the train to Tallinn for $27 and then get an Estonian air flight to Gatwick for $45. Easy. Total, $214. Extras. A full Estonian visa costs surprisingly the same as a transit visa. So if you book your plane tickets carefully and have a few dollars to spare, thanks to us this is likely, you could have a few hours in Tallinn. The airport is just four kilometres from the city centre and you can buy a Tallinn card with free transport and entrance to museums for about $8. Tallinn city centre is stunning with lots to see. We recommend the Alexander Nevsky Cathedral. It's an amazing building. Information box. Booking online. Nowadays, using computer technology, one can book tickets, flights and even a date online. Here are some tips to make sure you don't run out of the room screaming the next time someone says, book online. Always use trusted sites. If a site doesn't look professional, then it isn't. Make sure the company has a phone number. This isn't just to ensure they are legit. It's also so that you can chase up any problems later on. Always double-check all the details you have entered before clicking Pay. When booking flights, use a price comparison website such as www.cheapoair.com. They will find the best price out of all the airlines, though it doesn't search the budget airlines' websites. More on them next month. Also, make sure the site has some sort of e-ticket or email confirmation that you can take to the check-in desk at the airport. Always note down your reference number and any other details at the end. Always check for hidden prices. Often a price on the main page will not be the final price. Extra costs may include tax, VAT, courier, handling and the manager likes a day off on Fridays charges.